First, there were AI girlfriends or AI pets. Now, researchers in China have created an AI child. Yeah, you heard that right. But before we panic, let's explore what all this means. Meet Tong Tong, the virtual child developed by the Beijing Institute for General Artificial Intelligence. The avatar can hold a natural conversation, understand context and maintain coherence. Okay, so what? ChatGPT can do this too. What sets Tong Tong apart is her ability to learn, adapt and interact with her virtual environment. She can also recognize and respond to human emotions. The demo showed her perform simple tasks. Clean up a spill, fix a crooked picture frame or grab a chair to reach a higher spot. All without a human instructing her to do so. Her creators hope to one day achieve Artificial General Intelligence or AGI. An AI capable of all human characteristics. Autonomous cognition, decision making, social interaction and emotions for example. Remember Iron Man's assistant Jarvis? A program like Tong Tong is a first step in that direction. But why make it a child? Isn't that just weird? Well, if a fully developed AGI resembles an adult, Tong Tong's capabilities put her at about the level of a four-year-old, according to her developers. And of course, the childlike appearance might just be PR. People fear super intelligent AI, but people love children. All right, now why should you care? Back to Jarvis. Think of an AI assistant that can perform multiple tasks. It answers an email for you, books you a doctor's appointment and brews you a coffee when you are tired. Doesn't sound too bad to me, but these algorithms won't just be personal assistants. A fully autonomous AI could replace human workers in a number of fields, for example in customer service or finance. But as we all know from playing around with the likes of ChatGPT, no matter how well developed the algorithm, it can sometimes produce complete nonsense. And you may not even notice. An AI model acting autonomously and making mistakes could put lives at risk. Take the medical field for example. An AGI might assist with surgeries, diagnosis or treatment, but if it gets something wrong without expert supervision, patients' health could be compromised. So we need to find ways to minimize the risks and as we move closer to algorithms almost indistinguishable from humans, we might need to be rethinking our relationship with AI. An AI child might seem a little eerie at first, but it could actually be an option for people who can't have children. Or it might help parents who lost their child deal with grief. With enough data, they could even rebuild their lost child as a digital entity. But here again, we need to think about protection from AI's flaws. Imagine your virtual child suddenly changing personality. It could also just stop working entirely and the emotional consequences for you could be severe. And forming an emotional bond with an AI that can think independently and develop emotions brings up a whole new set of questions. Is it ethically okay to say it's just a machine or do we need to think about something like AI rights? All right, that certainly is a lot to wrap your head around. Do we even want such a future? Let us know what you think.